Sure thing. Riley told more than you a little bit about your research into Atlantis. Now, I know, just speaking with you earlier today, you've had people um, from universities, uh, scholars calling you and going, wow, we were trying to figure this out. And then you, this, this, the research that you've done just blew, blew their mind. Tell people a little bit about where you found Atlantis. Why did you come up with this theory? And what, what proof, what evidence can you offer us? Okay, I sent you a link um, on the um, Skype channel there that you can reference to some of the uh, pictures here about what I'm talking about. But um, condensed, I, I picked up the research I started in 1989 when I wrote the Vindicator Scrolls about where Atlantis was and where the Garden of Eden was. Both of them. I was close, but not uh, on spot on. And recently, uh, in February this year, I did find that Atlantis, uh, cutting to the chase, is all of the Arabian Peninsula, all the way up to the Persian Gulf and up into the uh, Mediterranean between where uh, the border of Syria and Turkey meet. Now, this is important, uh, it, you know, in the secular uh, sense, it, it is important to know that Saudi Arabia, all of that Arabian Peninsula, is part of it is all of Atlantis plus the, the little capital island which is down near uh, Gutter and Bahrain on the coast there of the Persian okay. Gulf. Okay, you see all those. You see that you're you're looking right there at Atlantis right. to your left. Okay, mm -hmm. click on okay. that green picture there and it'll give you a big picture. Just click on that one there. There you go. Now, uh, okay. see. It used to be an island, and even the old-timer Bedouins that are running around the desert there in Saudi Arabia will tell you that the Arabian Peninsula was really the Arabian island. And it was that way in the formal studies of Pangaea, where all the continents were together and then broke up. Uh, North Africa and the Arabian Peninsula moved toward Europe. Before it got there, this was all a waterway, and it uh, it was Atlantis. It has the same area, uh, same coastline, uh, and it's placed in between ancient uh, Asia Minor in the time of Plato and before that in the um, uh, location of ancient Libya, which goes all the way up to Morocco on the coast of the Mediterranean. Mm. Um, there's just so much to cram into five minutes here, but anyway... <laughs> Uh, the importance of this is that, as the Bible prophecies say, in the last days it will be like it was in the time of Noah. Noah was an Atlantean citizen. He, uh, he lived in the area, and God raised up the flood by making a huge meteor strike in the Indian Ocean, and it sank a lot of uh, the Arabian Peninsula at the time. It, it uh, lowered Oman by 9,800 feet, nearly two miles, and raised up the end over uh, near the Mediterranean Sea. Slik som det var i Noahs dager, sånn skal det også være i de dagene, eller på den dagen menneskesønnen returnerer. By about uh, 2,000 feet as well. <laughs> anyway, this is now, we're seeing um, the quote-unquote aliens that we're talking about, <laughs> the fallen ones, they have a base um, in the Jabal to Wake Mountains, underneath where the mm, the L in Atlantis is. And in fact, if you look at that uh, show images page I just sent you, go all the way down to the very bottom, and I'm going to show you on the bottom row, there are pictures of a base, uh, part of the secret base. Go to the the image. Oh, wow. There it is. See, there, that one. Oh, go to the left one okay. first. Go to the, go to the left one. I was told by our security detail when I worked for Teller that this is within that arc is where we had the secret base that we ran with the aliens or the, the fallen ones. Now go to the next image over and you, you're going to have trouble finding this image, but I got it off being maps. This is a secret base and it's not a normal base with an airstrip. It has... Uh, openings, which may be missile launch, uh, or it may be some circular craft, but look at this these buildings. You, wow. you go to the next image over, well, you I see can't how believe odd. that hasn't been blurred out on the map search yet. Well, I'm sure I'll it has by what. now. Yeah, it, well, it, it, look, I got this stuff and screen snapped it as soon as I saw it because mm -hmm. it was where it's supposed to be. Yep. Wow, well, I've got it. I've got it. I'll tell everybody the coordinates, but Bing doesn't give you the coordinates you'll right away. You have to dig into it. So I went back oh. about 30 minutes later to get the coordinates, and it wasn't there oh. anymore. Yeah. It's gone. But I saved this for you anyway. And the, and the next image over you're looking at, look at that. It's like a keyhole slot in the mm -hmm. top of this hangar. I mean, what kind of a craft 
you know, comes out of something like that. Yeah. But anyway, I did save it for you as best I could. And um, this, well, now this talk, may, talk to me a little bit because you know just. The little bit that I've read about Atlantis and things like that, people are always saying that it's probably in the Atlantic Ocean, and that's you know where the Atlantis comes from. Um, but what, what about Lemuria or some other of these ancient civilizations? And I also think it's kind of interesting, um, you know, math, for instance, came out of Saudi Arabia. And the, the, what we right. know, current day math and things, and you're thinking, well, how could these people understand uh, this sort of wisdom? Kind of makes sense. Look, uh because uh, Poseidon, which is the Atlanta story that Plato uh, made popular, because that's the only really uh, detailed record we have of the ancient uh, alien or fallen one's invasion of the Earth, people forget that in the, the book of Jubilees, which is not part of the normal Bible, but it's still good uh, data, that a group of angels, a group of fallen ones came down to Earth and they divided the whole planet up amongst themselves. Poseidon got the Atla the um, Arabian Peninsula, but there were others who took over Central America, South America, Europe, the United States, or North America, um, China, and, that's, and, and uh, India and Asia. They were all over the planet, and that's why the pyramids have such similar structures all over the world. At that time, before the breakup of the continents, which is catastrophic after the asteroid hit, Hör du det? Vad han sa? Att det var pyramider och väl jordklon, ikke sant? Mm, det är er det jag har sagt till dig i lång tid och det vet du. Men jag har slutat att si det nästan för det hör ju aldrig på mig. Och inte nog med det. Vad sa jag för en jag tippar en månad sen, kanske månad lång. När han är jag var nog kallan. När han guttungen, vet du, hade brukt Google Earth och datan sin och grejer och så finne vad för nå han 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 triangulerade stjärnor och dems briljans och sånt nå och så klarte han att finna nya pyramider i Sydamerika inne i jungeln. När du går in i den där stora pyramiden i Gaza vet du så är er ju en sån gang som går upp och som pekar upp mot Sirius hundstjärna, ikke sant? Varför tror du de har såna gångar som det i dessa pyramiderna? För de de vännerade stjärnorna. Och vad är er bibeln berättar oss att stjärnor är er för nå folkens? De beskrivs som änglar. Stjärnor i Bibeln är er ängler. Binder oss att knyta sig samman eller nej, det tränger mer in på det. Och det det måste börja tänka på i så folkens för allt det har lärt är er lögn. Evolution är er bullshit. Det är er sex typer evolution liksom in in vetenskap. Det är er kun en av dem som är er riktig och det är er mikroevolution och det är er också den eneste som är er observerat. Allt annat teori. Punktum. At that time they were all so close they could just hop across the river and they were in North America or in Europe. Uh, right. It wasn't like it is today. Are, so, are these the ancient bloodlines or the ancient families that, that we hear about? You know, uh, I, I probably get uh, hung by some of the uh, the uh, Christians who take the literal word of the King James Version, but I think. I, I find evidence that these beings survived the flood. Some of them survived. And it's very possible. Det står i Mosebok, så står det, det var kjemper i jorda på den tida, og selv etter det. Og hva, hva tror du mener med det? At, for det var, og det er i Mosebok, ikke sant? Rett før flammen. Så rett før flammen kom, da, så står det, det var kjemper i jorda på den tida. Altså, ordet er ikke kjemper, egentlig, skjønner du. Det er de jordfødte, eller på hebraisk, da, så er det nefilims, som kommer fra rotordet nefal. Og nefal, vet du det betyder? Det betyder å falle ned, å bli kastet ned, eller å desertere. 
because the Bible says in these days it will be like it was in the time of Noah, that they have crossbred with humans. And so if they're in our royal bloodlines, I don't know, but it's quite possible. I'm curious to know if you know what they were actually using the pyramids for, because I have done research where I did see where, you know, they have all these same pyramid structures. I've heard that it's some sort of power source and it's a way. Can you explain? Fordi de venerte stjernene. Det er vanskelig å skjønne dette her. Explain to us what they're using actually the pyramids for and why they would have them all over different places in the world. Altså de venerte englene da. Possibly, because like... Let's see, Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet, he said that in the time of Atlantis, they had tall structures, and on top of them, they had crystals that put out energy, and that people, these beings, could fly between the energy beams and these uh, structures. Now, in the time of Herodotus, he reported that the, the Great Pyramid uh, uh, at uh, Giza had a moat around it, and it shot light up around it, and Luxor was the land of light because of the light coming off the top of that pyramid. Mm. Luxor Det latinske ordet vet du, Som vi bruker i uh, Den greske uh, Eller den engelske også, King James Bibelen Som for Lucifer Det er Lux Luxor Lux Og ja De hadde Hva er det står i kapitel 6 der Sønnen av Gud så at døtterne til menn Var fagre, ikke sant, de var vakre og de løsta etter dem så de bestemte seg for å dra ned dit og ta seg koner og ha sex med hvem de ville og kvinnene bar frem kjemper står oversatt som som jeg forklarte dere i sted ikke jeg kjemper, eller nei, de er kjemper men ordet betyr noe annet det betyr de som ble kastet ned er ikke sant? Og det betyr på gres da, så er det de jordfødte. Så hvem er det som har bygd pyramidene som er over hele planeten? Det var avkomme til englene. Og det er derfor de har disse gangene som peker opp mot disse stjernene. For det de venerte sine fedre, ikke sant? Alle engler er alltid menn. Derfor peker disse gangene opp mot stjerner. Derfor fant denne guttungen, denne pyramiden i jungeren, ved å bruke stjernekonstellasjoner og triangulere den, og masse matematikk og pes. Som en smart liten guttunge bør bruke denne teknologien til, til å avsløre disse svina som har gjemt hele verdenshistorien for alle! Og det er de samme innavle som går igjen hele tida, folkens. Våkn opp dette her, da. Så, you know, there are little clues that say this. I don't know how they would have worked. Certainly the king's sarcophagus in Khufu has never had a sarcophagus. It never had a body in it. So what did it hold? Some historians have said that it has the same dimensions as the Ark of the Covenant. You know, and Moses, of course, was a member of the of the royal family. So did he know that? There's just a lot of unanswered questions. Og et av dem er at den fremdeles ikke vet hvem som har bygd disse pyramidene. Det er jeg. Og det vet det er mange som vet det nå, da. Steve Quayle kan dere snakke eller høre på. Dere kan høre på han der. Stan Deo. L.A. Marsulli. Ja. Det er så mange av dem nå at det er helt utrolig. Men dere bør jagge våkne opp dere. Walter Wheat. Det er dere som er syvende dag adventister, for eksempel. Dere bør jagge reagere. Våkne opp. Se verden for hva han er. Ikke hva dere blir fortelt på idiotboksen. Indoktrineringskassa som dere bruker 12 timer av dagen dere på å se på, ikke sant? Eller noe sånt da. For dem forteller deg bare det dere... Det de vil at dere skal vite. Våkn opp, Agit. Nå er det nok her. Altså, jeg er så lei av å vette alt dette her. Å ha en så stor skare der ute som er helt på jorda, altså. Kom igjen, folkens. Som sagt, jeg vet at det er mange av dere som følger meg, da. Som allerede har hørt dette her. Til dere som ikke har hørt det. Begynn å spisse øra.
Hva er det den fant for noe? På Krimhaløya? Eh, cirka et halvt år enn noe nå, før Putin tok Krimhaløya. De fant ni pyramider på en linje som var dekt under to til tre meter med, hva for noe? Med jord. De sa det var akkurat som om det hadde vært en flodbølge som dekte til dem, som hadde dratt med seg jord da, og dekte dem. Serius, folkens. Selvfølgelig kan jeg ikke bevise dette her, men indikasjonene er så sterke at det er helt lattelig. Jeg kan ikke bevise at det var dem avkomme som bygde disse pyramidene, men Bibelen forteller så mye om det at det er helt lattelig. Han peker ikke på pyramidene, men selvfølgelig, når de har ganger som peker opp mot de mest brilliante stjernene og sånn, så er det jo obvious det er avkomme som gir honnør til sine fedre, for du skjønner det, at etter denne flodbølgen kom, som alle tror var på grunn av at Gud var så morderisk, ikke sant? Nei, det var fordi han skulle eliminere alle disse nefilimene. Men det var noen igjen, gitt, som sa, å, Goliath, da. De der seksfingra, vet du, som indianerne, nordamerikanske indianerne, var så nervøse for hele tiden. Jeg vet ikke hva jeg skal si, altså. Dere er nødt til å våkne av folkens. Verden er mye mer sprø, mye mer utrolig. Og hvordan kan jeg klare å finne på noe sånt, noe sånt dette her?